ini good that one it one milk Do I need to unmute? No. I, I stay on. Yeah, okay. All right. You, how you going? Anybody hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hi, Santos. Hey, who, who's that? This is Tasha. Oh, Tasha, yeah, beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Hi, John. Yeah. Uh, underneath listeners. Oh, yes, beautiful. But there's no names to them, so that's... But anyway, that doesn't matter. All right. Is Ruth here? Yep. Okay. Wonderful. Well, this is business. <laughs> uh, this is fantastic to be able to do this. All right. So. Is, is, Hello. Hello. Can everybody hear? Uh oh. Patricia. You... Yeah. Yeah. I did a presentation on Sunday on the sixth. And um, I think it should go go all right. I was very tired because of the uh, Ian Crane event the day before, MC for Ian Crane, and uh, I was doing a lot of walk around on my boots. I had my high, high, high slightly I've got Spanish boots, and and that just absent out. And so I did the presentation the day after. I was very tired, but I, look, it should should be okay. <laughs> In fact, every presentation I do, I'm absolutely exhausted because I don't really sleep well the night before for the excitement. You know what I mean? It's you want it to come off, come. You want to do a good job, you know. So, <laughs> but um, look, I established uh, the physical. Yeah, I'm I'm around. I'm just okay. wondering what what. All right. Yeah. yeah, there are. Yeah, I like um, horoscopeswithin.com. Is there basically no hope for somebody that doesn't have their birth time? Not really. I mean, there is hope, but... Um, If, if if I had a lot of time to study the person on the process of how to work it out, that's how good they are. Right. 
Yeah. They can, they can, um, I think there's, there's a certain uh, calculation and, and they work it out. I've never met anyone that can, but um, I, I've been told. So it's not, you know, a lost cause. Um, you don't have yours? No, it's not on, it was not available on my version. I was born in New Mexico. Hmm. Well, you can still uh, learn a lot about yourself. Just because you can, yeah, you you don't necessarily have to have it. It's not you. Can, there's still a lot you can learn. You can still see where Jupiter. You can see where the major seven are, except for the moon. If the third, if the moon is near a cusp, then you might be in trouble because you see the moon transits a sign every two and a half days. Okay. So if the moon's going through a sign and it's it's sort of like. It takes about uh, 24 hours to go halfway through the sign. Then 24 hours, it, look, it goes 10 degrees every day. So a sign is 30 degrees. So you can do the calculation, okay? 13 plus 13 is 26 degrees. And, then, and it has four more degrees. So if you do your birth chart and you just guess the time, say 12 midday, and you find that it is smack bang in the middle of a sign, then you know your moon sign. Okay. Because it, it won't have transited, it won't be out of the sign. You see, if it's, it's smack bang in the middle, then, then you, you pretty much you can work him out. But if it's on a cast, that's different. Then it can be one or the other. So that is problematic. But nonetheless, there are still things that you can learn. So you think if Very the relevant hour, you'd be pretty good off? Like if you knew the hour but not the specific time of your birth, you'd be pretty well off? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that gives you enough information. All righty. Yeah, as long as you're near the mark. Hmm. November 6 p.m. Oh, oh, okay, that's... Would you like me to have a look at that big jump? All right, let's have a look at it now. Let's have a look at it now. We'll have a look. November 6. Well, so you're a, a scorpion. My brother's the uh, 8th of November. All right, let's tell everybody about um, what you made of, eh? <laughs> do you want to reveal a few things or not? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. All right, let's, let's do it. And, in fact, I can share the screen. I can share the screen with you. Yeah. Uh, you got the time of birth? In the morning? Sorry? I am. Oh, PM. Okay. Sorry, oh, you broke. You're just breaking up. Terrible. Mm, so twenty-one thirty. And what's the town you were born in? Uh, uh, Minnesota, how do you spell that? It's in the, in the text. Yes, sorry, because I tried, I have two ends. I thought so, there you go. Uh, <laughs> it wouldn't, it wouldn't give me, uh, here we go. Minnesota, Shasta, California.
Minnesota, USA. Yeah, that'd be that'd be California. Yeah. Oh, Clayton. I didn't pick any of that up. It was uh, breaking up. I think it's actually Slayton with an S. Oh, okay. Slayton. Yes. <laughs> wow. Well, you did. Very. My apologies. Okay. Here we go. All right. So uh, your moon is Aquarius. Your ascendant is there. So you have a double double water mixed with air. air. Okay. Um, um. Physically, you may need to. Uh, Pay attention to your circulation and your and your heart. How's your circula your circulation? Okay. Yeah. Um, now your twenty Uranus is twenty degrees in in uh, Leo, so I'm just going to check what that means. Um, Because 20 degrees blood, yeah, yeah, blood and your circulation, mate, that's, that's about, that's about it. And probably a little bit to do with uh, liver, your liver, uh, six degrees of Sagittarius. And uh, what about your, your vision? Yeah, your far sight is, is afflicted. Sorry? Oh, really? Okay. Six, six degrees. So, well, you've got Jupiter right next to, uh, conjuncting with Mercury. This is interesting. You've got Mercury and Jupiter conjuncting in, in Sagittarius, six degrees. And that is the deacon of your far sight. Sight is the third deacon. Nothing really going on over there except very, very close. Very close. You have Saturn. Um, but look, the only other thing I can see, apart from circulation is, and far and your sight, is probably an area in your stomach. Um, 27 degrees of Virgo, you have um, the third deacon, so your digestion. Your digestion is going to be afflicted. No, good. Okay. Um, there you go. Well, that's the physical part. We can... Sorry? I, th I thought the 27 degrees had some kind of significance in particular. I don't know where it well, came from. The, yeah, they do. Oh. Mm, all the different angles do. But here in this case... Um, Big John, is that correct, Big John? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've got um, Vs there in 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 um, Virgo. That's 20, 27 degrees of Virgo. That's your digestion. And there is a square from Saturn. Um, so possibly, you, you, you know, you won't have much problem with that because you've got Venus, which is a uh, lesser malefic. Uh, uh, sorry.